Hello, Tim Montalvo, Yonkers Public Schools. Um, I teach at Martin Luther King Jr. Academy and I teach seventh and eighth grade social studies. Uh, today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to, uh, for my teachers out there, how to how host a live session using Microsoft Teams to invite your students in. Now, uh, if you see the separate video provided on Teams, um, you'll find easy access on how to get to Microsoft Teams from your Office 365. Now, Microsoft Teams, that's that blue application right here when we sign on using our username and password. Now, once we click Teams, this will open up. Now we can select one of our classes, the classes that we would like to meet with. You'll look for the camera icon at the bottom, right here. Once you click the camera icon, this will prompt you to either start a meeting now or to schedule a meeting. If you wanted to start a meeting now, you would type in the name of the meeting. And you click whether or not you'd like to share your video. If you'd like to schedule a meeting for your students in advance, which would be most recommended, uh, you would create the students who you'd like to attend, so or the individuals you'd like to attend. Um, you can do this team by team, or you can type in the different students you'd like to have here. Uh, you would type in the date, time, the duration of the meeting, uh, and you can also type in a message. Once you've scheduled that meeting, you would click send right here when you click send this will automatically send a notification to your team that a meeting has been scheduled now once the meeting starts there are a few different capabilities probably the most important one if you're deciding on hosting an online class is to share your screen and you'll see here that I can either share it with my desktop or window if I'd like to play a video or so on I can use the Microsoft whiteboard here as well that is interactive and my students can use or I can pull up a PowerPoint presentation and students can follow along and see exactly what is on your screen there also is a chat capability here too that students can type in questions as the presentation is taking place and you can walk through the lesson with your students here. When you're done, you just click end meeting. This will end the meeting not only for you, but also for your students. And that's Microsoft Teams. <laughs> utilizing the video function. Uh, this is the same software behind Skype, um, so it is pretty consistent and, and pretty clear as far as audio and visual go. I hope this you found this helpful. Take care.